Hi guys and welcome back to another Dot Race video and today we're going to be playing Ride 4 and we are here in Brands Hatch with Tommy Hill's Yamaha YZFR R1 EM from 2011. Oh my goodness, carnage already at the start of this particular Grand Prix here in Brands Hatch as I'm just trying to get on through. Oh my goodness, we're up to 6th place already after just a ridiculous amount of carnage as this race began. That was quite ridiculous to be quite honest with you. <laughs> But uh, another shout out to Sergio23 for making another terrific livery. He has made this uh, livery quite a while ago, but I've been uh, struggling to find the time to actually finally do the video on it. So here it is today, finally on this uh, beautiful Sunday, a chance to show you this wonderful, wonderful livery. Of course, winning here in 2011 right to the death against John Hopkins was something to remember by forever in British Superbike. One of the greatest races I've ever seen in the uh, British Championship Park, 100%. <laughs> totally, totally believe so, at least for me anyway. And look at all those British rides in the top left-hand corner of your screen. Patrick Holmes, Paul O'Connor, Dr. Ace and Charles Cooper. Loving life here in Brands Hatch. I do very much enjoy the circuit. I think uh, I think pretty much everybody likes the circuit. I don't know anyone who doesn't. And if, uh, if they don't like it, then very strange. <laughs> very odd. Let me know in the comments section down below what you feel about Brands Hatch. I'm pretty certain you're going to say you like it, but onto the brakes we will go then for the final corner. The Clark Curve is where it all was decided in 2011 as we now go on the right hand side going around the outside of Paul O'Connor. We might not get the Oh, it's going to be very close as we just lined up the motorcycle just trying to get through on Paul O'Connor. Almost a bit of contact, but we still managed to go around the outside and get into the Paddock Hill Bend into fourth position. Paul O'Connor's there actually, he's going to go for the lunge back up on the inside into the right hand side for Druids. Beautifully done for Mr. O'Connor, but now we will have a, another charge back against him for the next couple of corners, especially here into the Graham Hill Bend. I do feel very, very confident on the brakes on board this Yamaha. Of course, this particular bike was free in a DLC pack quite a while ago. I actually want to say it's free, but now I'm not too sure. I know it was in a DLC pack quite a while ago. I do believe it was free, but uh, honestly, I'm not entirely sure. So <laughs> there you go. I think it was free a while ago. But a great little motorcycle, and as Sergio said, he was uh, waiting for an opportunity to actually use this particular bike. And uh, finally, because I mentioned Tommy Hill, we have a chance to use this livery. So, as I say, we'll take a better look at the livery and to see how well Sergio uh, replicated Tommy Hill's bike from 2011 uh, towards the end of the video. So stay tuned towards the end, of course, if you want to see a little bit of a spin round the motorcycle in the garage. But now into the left-hand side for Sterling, has got very close to the rear of Victor Yepes there, almost touching the rear of his uh, Honda CBR as we're now going on the right hand side for the Clark Curve once again we might be able to get the acceleration to get past the Spaniard just a matter of time, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when and there it is already up into the podium positions and across the line we will go we are now into third place with three laps remaining so pretty good so far although we were gifted quite a lot of spots at the beginning of this particular race and I will confess something to you I did actually restart this race about seven times to try and avoid contact and carnage at the beginning there. Every single time I restarted it, someone would go from 10th place and just clatter into the back of the rider in about 8th place. Every single time this happened. And I really didn't want it to happen because I wanted to overtake as many riders as possible because I like to enjoy the experience and dive on through and practice the overtakes. But unfortunately, it wasn't to be. So we have a situation where I had to get up to 6th place into the first corner but now around the outside of Eduardo Berardi that was a beautiful move one of the best moves I've ever done if I do say so myself as we go into the Westfield Bend now behind Patrick Holmes can we go into ooh, just touching the grass there I always end up doing that as now Eduardo Berardi takes over into 2nd place beautifully done from the Italian returning back the favour of the overtake just a moment ago but into Sterling's we'll go at 20 past 10 21 degrees here in Brands Hatch. Do we have a chance of diving the inside? It'd be a brave move to go into Clark Curve with a lunge like that. As we now go on the right hand side, getting into the slipstream potential. In fact, we don't even need the slipstream. We're going to get absolutely. Oh my goodness, Patrick Holmes is going to get absolutely beaten up if he's not careful. On board the Ducati, I thought he would have had the additional speed, but it looks like Berardi and Dr. Ace had a little bit more oomph to get past him. But well, there is the Ducati still hanging in position for second place for Druids but not quite close enough to get back ahead of Eduardo Berardi. Do we have a lunge up in the left-hand side for Graham Hill? Not quite. We're still pretty close by, but not going for the lunge yet on this penultimate lap here of Brands Hatch. Now onto the left-hand side. Wait for Surtees for 
Patrick Holmes to run it a little bit deeper than fight back and bring on the acceleration already through. Oh, massive wheelie! Goodness me, I forgot about the uh, the anti wheelie being very very low. I think it's either low or off. I can't remember. I had it extremely low for this particular video, and uh, yeah, I got caught napping there a little bit. I won't lie. As we now go on the right hand side for, for Westfield Bend, very very close to the uh, apex there, but not quite close enough. I do like to go for a tighter line, and there we go, getting near to the grass once again. You usually get a bit of penalty time when you touch the grass there. Thankfully, uh, we didn't get it the other time, and we didn't get it this time either, as we now go on the left-hand side. We're actually approaching the last part of this race, the last part of this video, and that is going to be the final lap. So we're going to try and chase down Eduardo Berardi, take over at the front, and uh, give him the big don't argue and try and take the victory here. And look at the acceleration of the uh, Yamaha YZFR1 flying across the line. We are now into the lead. Going into the Paddock Hill bend, we take the lead, and I'm guessing now... Unless Eduardo Berardi can make a lunge up at the inside into Druids. I think it's pretty much done. And there it is. Right on cue. Berardi makes the lunge into Druids. And now it's a chance to fight back. Can we get on the left hand side for Graham Hill? Not this time yet. Graham Hill bend was not the corner we got the overtake. Where are we going to go for it? Going into Surtees for the left hander. Wait for Eduardo Berardi to run it wide. And then get the cut back up on the inside. Careful of the wheelie this time though. Ace beautifully done. I did feel the Yamaha wanting to lift up a little bit, but not this time. We managed to hold it on and get into the lead already into the final lap of this one. Going into the Hawthorne bend, I very much doubt we are going to lose the lead at any point now. It's already four and a half tenths of a second up on uh, Eduardo Berardi, so that is absolutely ridiculous. Berardi in second place. Had a fantastic race so far, but Tommy Hill, Dr. Ace, winning it here today. I'm very proud of this performance so far as... A little bit of wheelie coming out of the corner. Not sure if that was a bit of a, a showboat there, perhaps. And probably I'm doing a little bit of a showboat once again. Got to give it to the ace. He's got to, you know, cheer them up every now and again on a Sunday as we go on the right hand side for Clark Curve. That is going to be another victory for Dots Race here in Ride Four, and of course a victory with Tommy Hill's Yamaha YZFR R1EM from 2011. So thanks again, Sergio, for making a terrific livery here in Ride Four. So a quick look at the results, and then we will have a good old look at the actual livery itself. So there you go then guys, 2011's Yamaha from British Superbike, Tommy Hill's bike. Feast your eyes upon it because it is absolutely stunning. And shout out to Sergio23 for making this terrific livery. But upon the note guys, that is going to be it from me. So if you enjoyed the video, let me know in the comment section down below. Hit the like button and also consider subscribing as well. We're on the charge for 2,500 subscribers and I could do with your help. So upon the note guys, thank you very much for watching as always. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, it's been a pleasure and ciao for now. Oh hi! Didn't quite see you there. Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Race content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dot Race video.